if you have any question you can directly ask professor thompson and he will be happy to answer that question it's the event hello professor thompson uh, sir Hi. i just have this uh, simple question sir how do you react to this term called ultra humanism right and that to specifically how do you react to the conversion of a person into you know as a cyborg the complete organic structure it has been you know uh, totally changed so how do you react to it or do you think we should uh, we should call it to be complicit or illegal do you think so yeah i think i think you should be very uh, skeptical about the advances of that uh, i'm i'm actually not uh, familiar with the term of ultra humanism um what one thing you could say about cyborg is that they're re they're re reversible i mean if you start changing the the gene lines of of human beings and we start messing with uh, with the way that that, uh, that 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 humans procreate and you sort of uh, make them uh, more alike and, and and what have you uh, then that's not reversible in the same way you could say you, you just stop uh, producing cyborgs because that's something you need to rebuild again and again uh, so on the one hand i i, I would I'm, I'm i'm less worried about what could happen because i mean uh, cyborgs uh, uh, the, the part the human part of a cyborg will, will eventually die uh, and then you have to figure out uh, what were the benefits of that particular technology. So uh, I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I, I'm also very optimistic about that uh, that, that you can uh, use it therapeutically uh, for more and more people. So that's a good thing. Uh, but perhaps if you, if you wanted to follow on, on ultra-humanism, which I I'm, wasn't familiar with, uh, is that sort of also trying to enhance yourself as much as possible with the, with the given means? Which I think is uh, it's interesting. I mean, I, I, th I think the, the, the big threshold, uh, of course, would, would be the way that, that we could, uh, that longevity, I think, actually, is, is, is a huge societal factor. I mean, if we, if we started to see a division of people who become an upper class with, with very long lives, and, and I think even 30 to 40 years, it would make a huge difference of the social organization of, of the world. Uh, and I don't know if, it, if that's possible. As I said, I do know a lot of money is being spent on, on, on trying to, to get to that. So, so that's, that's probably where I would be worried uh, the most. I guess that we, we are enhancing ourselves in a lot of ways these years uh, with our uh, access to knowledge. Um, but it's sort of it, it's through smartphones, it's through screens, it's through engagement with uh, AI systems and so on. Uh, so the, the inequality that that creates between those who are educated and those who have resources of using and so on has the potential to grow. But it's, you, you still have the sense that it's not internalized into uh, the human. And that's, of course, what would make uh, the difference for most people. Thank you so much. Sir. It's always enlightening. So here's Thank you.